Hello mga kaguro, this is Sir Jerry, your partner and guide in troubleshooting and working out with your documents. In this video, I am going to show you how to count the number of pupils from below 75% and equal to 75% and above using Microsoft Excel automatically in easy way. This video aims to help teachers in lighting up their burden in counting the number of pupils who get below 75% and 75% and above in their numeracy rating or RUNT. This video also helps in speeding up the work of teachers in submitting their reports in pupils' numeracy rating. Please watch and listen carefully because right after this video, I assure you that you can count the number of pupils below 75% and 75% and above without hassle. So, let's start. Alright mga kaguro, all you have to do is to open your Microsoft Excel. Okay, pagkatapos nyo pong... Um, kapag open ng Microsoft Excel, just type all this data, the number of pupils, and all the operations, addition to division, up to the total score. Alright, don't forget also to type the highest possible uh, score on each operation po. So we have 10 items po in every operation po. So 40 items a total so the total score the highest possible score is 40 all right write down the number of our pupils i have here 28 so i have to shortcut highlight uh, using the left click press and hold the left click and this black cross if you can see right here drag it down up to the cell 28 okay if you can see 28, release your finger from holding down the left key. Alright, and it will automatically distribute numbers from 1 up to 28. Okay, so all we have to do is to copy all the grades or scores of our pupils in addition to division. So I have prepared here already the score of my pupils from addition to division okay using their test papers um, just check the test papers in every operations and record it so I have already record that one in my Microsoft Excel I have to copy this one highlight and then control C and then go to this one right click and then paste this number so I have here already the data from the scores of my pupils number 1 up to pupil number 28. So right at this time, I'm going to sum up the score of my pupils from addition to division. So we have to type equal sum, open parenthesis, and then highlight using the left key. Okay, and then close parenthesis and enter. So control C again drag it down up to the pupils number 28 and then hit enter so that is the shortcut way to sum up all the net data from addition to division so let's check the 75 percent of the score of our pupils um, the 75 percent of the score 40 is 30 okay you can uh, count that using your calculator um 40 times 0.75 okay so the 75 percent of 40 is 30 right okay so all we have to do right here is to add also the data or write the data from the ranges of scores 75% and above, below 75% and then the total. 
Okay, so to compute the grade 75% in a VAB, we are going to use the formula of count if. Okay, count if below 75% and 75% in a VAB. So this is the shortcut and the easy way to count the number of pupils in this uh, scores. So, hindi na po tayo kailangang mag-scan to check if who among of our pupils get below 75% and if who among them get 75% in the VAB. So we can count this one in a very easy way and automatic way using the formula count if. So we have to type equals and then go to formula. Okay, formulas and then insert function in this bar type count if. Okay, count and then I and F and then click go you can see there's a count if there and then OK all right right after you have click OK then it will ask you the range so all you have to do is to highlight from the score of pupil number one down to pupil number 28 and then the criteria all we have to do is to sum up or to check greater than 30 and equal to 30 pupils okay we're going to type here above 30 or greater than 30 okay just type greater than and then equal and then 30s we will going to check here or put here the formula in counting off pupils with 75 percent and above Okay, right after you successfully put the formula, click OK. Alright, and then it shows that we have 24 pupils a total who get 75% and above. Okay, let's try it and below 75%. Okay, the same way go to formula and then count if and in range highlight using the left key press and hold the left key and drag it down from pupil number one to pupil number 28 and then in criteria here is type less than sign less than 30 and then hit ok all right and then show four pupils a total who get below 75 percent or below 30. So let's sum it up. Equal sum. Open parenthesis and highlight the two data and then close parenthesis and enter. And then we have 28. It means we have successfully uh, summed up and calculated the numbers of pupils in this range. Okay, we can also try counting this one in a different way. We don't need to go to formula and insert function. Uh, we can automatically type the formula of count if in our cell okay you don't need to go on that process but it's up to you if which um, way do you want or you are convenient and working with so we have to remove this one or clear this one let's try another way let's clear the the data that we have just counted okay let's try and do in another way equals count if okay type it directly equals count if open parenthesis and then highlight using the left key drag it down from pupil number one to pupil number 28 then type comma in your formula bar and then write quotation mark greater than equals and then 30 all right greater than equals then 30 and quotation mark close parenthesis and hit enter all right at this time right equals count if open parenthesis highlight using the left key and people number 1 to 28 and then 
right comma in your formula bar quotation mark and then this time less than 30 okay less than 30 quotation mark close parenthesis and enter okay you see we still have the same result okay uh, we have two ways in counting the numbers of pupils below 75% and 75% and above. It's up to you if which one do you like. The first way that we have done a while ago or this one that we have directly put the formula in our cell. Okay. Alright, I believe we have said and done. I hope this video can help you out in working with your numeracy rating. Alright mga kaguro, again this is Sir Jerry nagpapalala na Don't think your problem is a burden, but rather think that problem as a challenge. Happy working mga kaguro. Have a great day, keep safe and God bless. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share happy working again and god bless you